and Onion Chris. Tell me about the correlation. Well, you know, Sundance is an amazing opportunity for us to brands. There's a lot of brands here getting us out there with doing interviews, a lot of celebrities trying the brands. And so this is a great way to promote uh, our product. And so, you know, we launched Pickle Crunch this year and next year, actually last year, and this year we're launching a new product, Jalapeno Crunch and Fried Green Tomatoes. So, it's here to dish about the product. I love it. You're keeping it spicy in cold Sundance right now. A absolutely. And there's so many great restaurants here, and they have Chef Dance here as well. I don't know if you've been to any of the Chef Dance events. It's been, it's been amazing. It's really great. But you're not here just for all work, right? You're going to party a little bit? Well, most of my days actually have been working all the way probably until dinner time has been work for me. I did go party a little bit last night, which was fun, and had a break. but. Uh, it's been work, and then tomorrow I head back to Los Angeles for more work. More work, 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 work. Okay, but what's the most fun about Sundance? I think the energy and the vibe and the people. You know, everybody coming here from LA and New York and all over the country, networking and talking to each other about all different types of things. The people you meet are amazing. And everybody's here, not just about film, but all different kinds of, you know, from food brands to vodka brands to tequila brands. And, and it's a culmination of ideas and networking opportunities, and that's what's been, what's been amazing about Sundance. So you're a really good-looking guy, though. Do you like all these little snow bunnies out here? I haven't had it. I haven't had a chance to pay attention. But uh, come on, Nick. I, I literally, I have. Everybody's here is very beautiful, but you know, I haven't had a chance to pay too much attention. Well, who do you want to win for Best Picture this year at the Oscars? Oh wow, that's a that's a good question. You know, I haven't even really thought that far ahead. That's not until the end of February, so I'm not I'm not really sure so so much. I mean, I Gone Girl was amazing, scared the living daylights out of me. I think every man. <laughs> it made Fatal Attraction look like a Disney movie, <laughs> and Rosalind Pike. I mean, I, I was blown away by her performance. I actually went to the premiere in New York, and uh, it, it was really it was amazing. So I mean. I, uh, I hope Rosalind does well. These would be great at a Super Bowl party. Hey, well, well, I'm not going to be able to get to the Super Bowl, unfortunately, this year. But it would be great. We did the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but uh, I just have too much work in getting to Arizona. And plus, none of my teams are. My team is not even there. So who's your team? I'm a New York Giants fan. Oh, okay, but who are you rooting for this year? Patriots or Seahawks? I hope they both lose. <laughs> you know, being a New York Giants fan, I mean, I, I, we kind of really don't like the Patriots. And I can't say that too much. You know, the, the Patriots have been actually very nice to me. They've had our product in their stadium. So, um, listen, I, I, hope, I hope for the best team, you know, team to win.